80 for a second, and then it jumped right back down. Our investigation began by taking the temperature in what is called the hanging room. Around 1866, a man was hanged in this room. He was accused of raping and killing a young child. Did you hear that? Yes, I did. Was okay. that a sigh? Yeah, like right in my ear. To upstairs now, where chilling things are a regular occurrence. If this is going off... Like it is right now. Off, ...that could indicate that there's some kind of activity in this room. We turn to the thermal camera to show who or what may be here. One of the investigators just got off the bench. That explains the imprint on the right. But how do we explain the even hotter image on the other side, where no one was sitting? And listen to what microphones picked up in one of the rooms. Did you hear that? We tried to communicate with whatever was here with what they call a spirit box. It scans through either AM or FM uh, radios. When a spirit's trying to communicate with you, it'll pull out the word. How many spirits are in this room with us? Are you male? Yes, I heard. How old are you? 21. 21. So were we communicating with the spirit of a 21-year-old male? If so, who is he? When did he die? And then this. If you want us to leave this for a movie maker, you must sit on the inside this room. <gasps> and what do you know? Perhaps that's our cue. And I tell you, that was the most bizarre thing that happened. I was standing on the staircase when the doorbell rang, and they asked the question, as you heard, if you don't want us here, make a sound. Instantly, you heard a doorbell ring, and I knew there was nobody there. We checked, because I was standing there a few meters away. We opened up, nobody was there, or at least uh, nobody that we could see. And did you hear those voices, the, the stuff that we recorded? Did oh, absolutely. This is, they, they had the spirit box, and it picked up words from the AM and FM radio stations, and distinctly. Very specific questions, very specific answers. And there are many, many more that obviously we didn't have the time to show, but it was fascinating, fascinating. Right. So you're a true believer now? Uh, it's hard not to believe when you look at that. I mean, there's certain things you could look at, you know, the house is old, certain noises would happen, but uh, there are a lot of things that happen. And with the doorbell at the very end, wow. we all freaked out. All right, nightmares courtesy of Anthony <laughs> Robart. Thanks very much, Anthony. <laughs>